Today we are getting a brand new tank. We got the tank. Yeah, there's a bunch of different plants here. I'm just gonna look through. Three, two, one. Oh my God, no. Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. I don't even know if I did an intro, but today's video is very exciting and it is exciting for a lot of different reasons. For one, I recorded three videos today and I post every other day, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Hit that post notification bell on if you don't wanna miss a video. Today we are getting a brand new tank. Now, because of last video, you guys may be extremely confused because I said all my fish were dying and you should go check out the video if you haven't seen it yet. The reason I am getting this tank is actually for two reasons. One, because I wanted a baby better. It was supposed to go in the tank with the neon tetras, but all of them died. The other thing is that I am going to be getting new fish soon for the 10 gallons and for the 29 gallon now that a bunch of fish have died and the 29 gallon hasn't even gotten fish in it yet. So very, very exciting videos coming in the next like three weeks, but I need a tank that I can use for a quarantine tank. For right now, it is going to have a baby betta in it. In a couple weeks, the baby betta will be in a bigger tank and this new tank will be used for a quarantine tank for fish that I will put into my other tanks. This way here, no fish diseases get transferred. We prevent some more deaths. Without further ado, let me roll you guys to the footage where I went to Walmart, Petco, all this stuff to get all of these different things for this tank. Uh, so yeah, enjoy and uh, let me throw you over there. All right, so now we're at Walmart and I don't know how much I told you guys in the intro, but we're getting another tank. But we need this one and hopefully it is not broken. Although there is another one up there, so I may ask for that one because the box is broken on this one. Just uh, don't knock, don't knock down all the tanks, because then we gotta pay for them. Okay, get it. You you gotta you gotta get it. <laughs> get it down. Shit. Okay, hang on. I gotta reach for it. We got the tank, and uh, now we gotta go to Petco and get some live plants and some decorations for this because I am done with the fake plants, all right? I'm done with the fake plants because they're just not good for the fish. So stay tuned for next video for when I get the fish. But uh, oh, we gotta get water. We gotta get water. Made it to Peko for the tank. We're gonna go inside, we gotta get live plants. I do have to pick out the fish, but that's gonna be for the next video you guys will see. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead, look at the plants, the decorations and stuff. I plan to get at least one plant. All right, so we wanna look for a small Amazon sword. This is an Anubius. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of different plants here. I'm just gonna look through and we're gonna go ahead and find one or two that we like. All right, so I'm at the fish room and uh, well, I'm missing a bottle of water. I'm missing water. Ah. Isn't it weird how you just said that? I just brought it up though. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> you just all right, so now that we have all five bottles of water, um, we got the tank, the water, the plants, we, and the sand is right there. So uh, let's go ahead and start setting this thing up because I really cannot wait to do this because a baby betta, I mean, come on. For all of you wondering, this betta is not going to stay in here forever. This is not its permanent home. It is going to be going into at least a 10 gallon tank, hopefully bigger. Um, if everything works out, but this is just for it's like growing tank, this five gallon. You really shouldn't keep bettas full grown. You should not keep bettas in less than a five gallon. I know there's a whole misconception of one gallons. I know everyone's kind of starting to spread the you know word a little bit, but do not get a betta fish and put it into a one gallon tank. It's a no-go, okay? They deserve more. They're in these giant rice fields. They're not in these tiny little puddles like everyone thinks. They rinse down everything, but this is such a cute little tank. And it's perfect for this baby betta. It's gonna be a great growing tank for it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the table up there. I know it's echoing. Hello. So this is where this five gallon tank is going to be um, sitting for right now. But here is our filter. I wanna go ahead and open this up. So like I said, it comes with this filter right here, but Honestly, I will probably get, be getting a new one. By the way, one thing I really want to tell you guys, one thing is that you do not want to be changing these filters all the time. A lot of people think that you have to change a filter every week or every, like once every two weeks. I have had the same filter in this 10 gallon over here that has been the most successful. I have had the filter in there for at least three months and that's what you want. You want the bacteria to build up. That is how it prevents from diseases and stuff is having that bacteria built up. So as for a substrate for this tank, I am going to use sand. Honestly, I think it's just personal preference as to what you want to use, gravel, marbles, all that kind of stuff. I personally think marbles just don't look good. 
Um, I like my tanks to look kind of more natural. So that's just my personal opinion. That's why I'm gonna use this play sand I got from Home Depot. Um, this is all natural, no chemicals, all that type of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and start rinsing the sand really, really, really well. Um, and then we'll go ahead and add the water, the plants, and uh, in the next video, you guys will see me adding the fish. Oh crap, I gotta get these into the freezer. I completely forgot. Guys, I am so excited. So here is the tank. All right, so we got the sand in here. Now I'm definitely getting a new filter because the sand is literally so close to the bottom of that filter. I just don't trust it. I don't like it. I think it'll mess with the filter a little bit. Just my opinion. But we have these two plants to go ahead and get in here. And we're gonna rinse off all of this excess stuff and go ahead and plant these plants. All right, so I went and filled this up with some water so we can rinse off the excess uh, chemicals and stuff, but both of these plants are okay for bettas. I'm gonna go ahead and put up like, I just wanna show you guys what they are, so if you guys wanna get them for your betta, you guys know these are safe. I did look it up, so um, there's like the Asian water fern, and this thing, I do not know what the heck this thing is called, but uh, it's like av, Afzeli or something like that. It's in Anubias. Also, one other thing to note is when I got these at Petco, the sign said it rang up as $5.99, but they do have a price match. And online, they were only $3.49 or $3.59. So I got both of these plants basically for the price of one that they were asking. I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse off all the excess chemicals, the gel. All right, so let me move this stuff out of the way. Let's go ahead and plant these where we want them. I'm thinking this one in the back only because it's more leafy. And I'm thinking this one like somewhere over here. I guess it's time to fill it up. No, 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 no. No. Oh my God, no. So I've never had this happen to me and it's extremely late at night. There's no pet store open, I can't go return the fish. I would love to just go bring the fish back because I'm just really nervous now. It literally didn't start leaking until I got the last gallon in. Unfortunately, I don't have anything else for this baby better to go in. It's gonna have to stay in there overnight. I'm gonna bring it with me to my house because my fish tanks are not actually where I live. The only option is to tomorrow, sometime after my classes are between, find another tank. So I'll see you guys tomorrow and we're gonna have to go try and find a the exact same tank at another Walmart. Okay, so it is the very next day and you guys will see what happened the last 24 hours. Well, almost 24 hours. You guys will see that in a couple days. Um, but now we are gonna go ahead and exchange this tank. We're gonna get this as well, and then we need this five gallon, and hopefully it is not broken. There are two of them, so I don't know which one I should take, the front one or the back one, but I think I'll take the back one. So let me get this. All right, so the tank is all set. I filled it up, let it sit for like five minutes. There was absolutely nothing. So I guess this tank is all set to go. We have our sand from yesterday that we got to put in first. And we also have our plants that we have to add in. So I'm just going to do a quick time lapse because you guys already basically saw what it's going to look like. So uh, let me throw you guys on the tripod, get everything set up. All right, so I'm about to plug in the heater. I did change the table because I don't know, I may want something to go here. I don't really know. Um, I can always move this one because this is a really light tank. Um, I just kind of moved it a couple different ways and figured out how I wanted it. But I think I do want it over here. Three, two, one. All right, so uh, I guess it's working. So that is it for this video guys. This was, an, this was a complete adventure just to be able to get this tank. Even though it's a really small tank, um, it was literally more work than my 29 gallon or my 10 gallons combined. Seeing how that it like started leaking right away and it was just a whole mess. So yeah, that was no fun, but I really did overall enjoy putting this tank together and I'm really excited to have a baby betta fish. But you guys are gonna have to wait until next video to see what betta fish I got. 
So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn that post notification bell on. I do upload every other day. Thank you guys for watching, and I know you guys love tank setup videos, so I did do a video on this. I almost didn't, I almost just kind of did it on my own, but um, I know you guys love tank setup videos, so had to do this one for you. Like I said, betta fish full grown should not be in anything less than a five gallon, just in my opinion. Okay, that's a lot of people's opinions. But like I said, that is it for this video. If you like tank setup videos, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you're excited for more better videos to come, make sure you guys drop a like as well. And other than that, I think I will see you guys in the next video, which is me getting the better fish. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next video. And uh, I think that's it. So uh, bye.